it's your girl, that girl to show, and I'm back with another video. Yay. <laughs> that was mad dry. Anyway, this is part six of my Let's Play series from Projects to Penthouses. And hey, y'all, Erica had the baby. And I'm probably like, how long ago did she have the baby? Y'all, yesterday, like <laughs> two minutes ago, I aged that baby up so quick. I cannot, y'all. I cannot with the babies crying every two minutes. I like honestly until the Sims, if they ever do it, if they until they upgrade babies in this game, the baby comes out and the baby gets aged up, and that's one period. No one has time for objects, like, but um, his name is Tyreek Jr. Y'all, I didn't know what to name him, so I was like, you know what? He's the first son. Let him be an heir to the drug lord throne. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna happen anyway. But anyway, honestly, y'all, they're definitely getting a spinoff. After my girls move out of this house, I will be doing the spinoff with the Easley family. I already decided. I freaking love them. At first, I was like, Ugh, whatever. They're, they're whatever. But, y'all, I love this family. So, they'll definitely be getting the spinoff. Y'all, our girl Alexis here, she is on freaking academic probation. And I hate that for her. Because, like, come on, sis. We ain't got money to keep spending. And I'm over here thinking that she's doing good in school. And the whole time, she was not. Anyway, y'all. Uh, so, I'm trying to get her to be back on her school-ish. Like, now. Like, right now. Um, she has two classes today. Y'all, she better not fail this semester because me and her will fight. <gasps> Speaking of fighting, you guys, if you saw the last episode, you know the men's was out here fighting. Quincy and wow, now he's chilling in his house. But Quincy and Tyreek were fighting, and then y'all, Tyreek got into a fight with Maya. Now, y'all know Maya don't bother nobody, Tyreek is just being a bully at this point, and I mean, well, we all knew that was his thing, like, you know, look at me messing up the controls as usual. Also, y'all, Jayla is freaking failing her performance, so I need to make sure she goes to school today because she has not been going, I guess. What is her issue? Oh, she has to pee. Since you have a whole apartment upstairs, go pee. Alright, so boom. <laughs> Alexis is the, um... I don't know, like the the leader of the um, Black Student Union at Foxbury University. Shouts out to Foxbury. Um, <laughs> and she is going to have a meeting today. She wants them to like have a meeting. You know, it's the start of the term. They want to start off good so they could, you know, do more activism things. She actually found people who is down with the cause, you know, like, not just these people who want to go skating once they get to the rallies, you know? That being said, we have to do that today. Also, some, speaking of the devil, she must have known we was talking about her. Simone, um, y'all, she needs to go on another sugar date, y'all. She needs to. She needs to go into the sugar date because this sugar mama she got ain't really coming through with the coin as often as she should. And again, they're on a deadline to move out of this house. Like, yes, a deep clean. I don't know. They keep saying that um this house is dirty and I cannot find like the dirty stuff. Well, there you go. Wait, why are they beefing? What's happening? Smurds move now. Story. What happened? I mean, I guess every now and again, friends be. Oh, she said her weed was trash, I think. Yeah. I mean, she like, why well, I got it from Tyreek. 
I'm so confused. Why does she not go to class? Is this broken? What the heck? Oh, y'all, I'm so dumb. This class is for Thursdays. That class is at 1.30. Y'all, I am so dumb. Look at them. Look at them having this baby. Chill in this dirty... Look, that's none of my business. Not my child. Why is y'all all coming down here? We all have got to tell y'all. So, Simone was sick and tired of just streaming and basically making little coins. So, she became a stripper. So, we'll probably do that the next episode. Have her go into work. Because, honestly... We need to get paid. Look, y'all have trash everywhere. This is why this place is so freaking dirty. We're gonna have Alexis come in practice singing. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. And she wants to be a singer. You know what? That might not work out, sis. Oh my god, she keeps asking us out. We have class today and we need to be focused. I feel like Alexis isn't even gonna have time to have like a whole relationship. You're both sad. Girl, I ain't using cereal. What the heck? Why everything keep breaking? We're not fixing that right now, to be honest. We need to get some money. Now her wanting to hang out in Malik crib because her best friend found him attractive. Simone, I see what kind of girl you are. He not even here. Alright, I made sure I got her dress because sometimes they don't be putting on their clothes when they be leaving out. Y'all, look at her. Little, it's hot outside outfit. I love her. She's like so like effortlessly pretty. She doesn't try too hard. She's like so like laid back. I like her best friend who literally does the most. They still didn't clean this baby. I'm calling, I guess, ACS or something. Can I call child services on them? You know what? Let's start some mess. Where is he? I wonder how long he was stuck behind these stairs, y'all. He was literally stuck behind the staircase. Like, how? Y'all. Wow. And the baby was in the room. I cannot. Wow, parents and skills. I got my girl streaming. It's the face for me, like, it says, you stressed or nah? <laughs> they both stressed, y'all. They is both stressed out. Okay, guys, so we are out in the hot weather. <laughs> And y'all, this is the first official meeting for the Foxbury BSU for this term. So you guys, let's meet the other members. Okay guys, so this guy right here, this is Chris. Chris is literally very much like Black Power. He really, him and Alexis are probably like the two main ones who are really, really like into you know all things black lives matter all thing you know black empowerment um they're really trying to push that narrative more at foxbury and y'all this is chris y'all can we all say light skin like y'all know what i mean like he just all he cares about is his looks he's like i'm light skin with green eyes he basically gets all the girls he's also a fr uh in a fraternity so he's a frat guy um 
he honestly just joined BSU so he could seem, you know, more deep. Because <laughs> he is super shallow. Hey y'all, this is Candace. Um, so, Candace is just like a regular girl but she comes from like a really really small town and she's mixed so she grew up you know in a very biracial neighborhood so now that she's going to school you know to university she wants to you know um she basically wants to get more in touch with um the black side of her basically and then we have Milan. Now Milan, she's uppity. Like she's uppity. She's bougie. She is a sorority girl as well. I'm like as well. Chris is a fraternity boy. She's a sorority girl. Um, and she honestly, she's super smart. She is super woke as well. Um. As you can see, she's a nice chocolate girl, okay? Um, and... But because she's, like, so pretty and so into her looks and everything, people don't take her serious. So, she decided to join BSU, so that way people can take her more seriously. Like, period. She's like, I'm sick of y'all not listening to me because I'm super pretty. This is the hangout that we're at today. It's called the, I think it's like Neon District something, something. Y'all, yeah, I'm bad with names. Um, I will definitely put the person, I got it off the gallery, so I'll put the person who built it down below. It's so cute. Alright, let me give you like a quick little tour. So up here, you have like the, um, like a little museum area. Um, you have some seating over here. You can like smoke over here. Mac cute, Mac cute. And then here you have like a little cafe area and like a little spot where you can like sing and perform. Over here it's like a little pub type of place that has like a little bar some chess tables you can paint play this play foosball <laughs> you can play basketball back here you know kids can come play back here you can do some art um and it looks like a street type of thing you know it's so cute i love like lots like this that has like multiple things and when you place it down you can basically pick and choose what you want it to function as so if you want it to function as a museum you can put it as that and people will like just look around at the art if you want it to function as the cafe or like whatever you can do that also downstairs they have a bowling alley so also if you wanted this to function as like a bowling alley type of place you can also do that um right now it's placed down as a cafe um, if I was bringing them here, like, later on in the night, I probably would place it down as, like, a bar. Did she just, like, ignore me? Oh, never mind. It went. Stop, who she think is ugly? Y'all. And this stupid thing isn't working, so I can't even see. She thinks somebody's ugly. Alright, let's talk to the John. Okay, you guys. So, 
If you don't know, like the first few videos on my channel were creative sim videos and I do have a series on here where I um, give makeovers to um, the sims characters because honestly some of them a little dusty, a little dusty. And y'all, this is our girl, Brittany Cho. Honestly, I was like, Brittany is low-key already cute or whatever, but I wanted her to be a baddie. Like, to me, she was giving me, like, Instagram baddie vibes. Like, like, that's her. Like, she gets sponsored by Fashion Nova. Like, <laughs> That's freaking Britney. I love her. Oh my gosh. He needs to be next, to be honest. Because he's always somewhere thinking he's mad cute with that stuck up look on his face. Y'all better have. Come sit down. Y'all are so freaking annoying. I was just trying to share drugs with you guys. I'm gonna ask her her political stance. Ah. Who are you voting for, oh, sis? Mm. Mm. <laughs> voted go. Looks like the sim voted go, which is rare. The gold party almost never gets to be in charge around here. It's nice that they want to make some jobs, make more jobs by putting up more industrial buildings in Evergreen Harbor. I'm just worried a little about our eco footprint. Mm. Capitalist. Girl, go pee. Why Sims always have to pee? Gen Seba? Freak Poshima? Yal and Nim. Oh, Tink Will. Yeah, let's look at this talk. Oh, she majored in language and literature. That was too much. <laughs> okay, y'all, so we are back home. Alright you guys, so it's time for the sugar and seeds. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, someone's hitting us up. Hey, I've seen your profile on the website. You seem like a sweet sugar baby. Would you like to meet and see if we are compatible? Yes. Like, I was about to go look at but since you already found us. Period. Okay, you guys. I have never been to this lot. Like, I think this is... Where? First of all, where are we? We're like in the... Mm -mm. This is, seems like a setup to me. I don't trust it. We're like surrounded by wilderness. I don't like that. Mm -mm. This is our date. I mean, it's the jean shorts for me. But I guess, I don't know. I guess we're going to see. Let's. All right, let's sit together. So let's see. We gotta see if we can become his sugar baby. But I already have a sugar partner. I don't know why I can't have more than one. I don't understand. Ask about sugar partners. Where are you going, sir? 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 Okay. Suggest the food. 
Oh, yes, it's the flirting for me. Um. Alright, y'all. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> y'all, is this petty? This is petty. Wow, I feel so bad for what I'm about to do. I'm about to invite my current sugar mama over. And then end it with her. <laughs> Wait, is this her? Oh, I thought that was her. I'm like... Because we could just end things right now. We're just going to get straight to it. <laughs> oh, man. I should have asked for the money first. I should have asked for money first. So, guys, I'm trying to break things off with you. My new man is here. He like, he like, where you going? Where you going? I'm going right here. Oh my gosh. Not us getting her a drink too. Guess it's the least we can do. Alright, that's cute, sis. You could be mad. Somewhere else. Scumage. Remove her from the group. Bye, sis. I'm gonna come sit over here. <laughs> Cause, sis, not him getting up. Sir. Do you not understand? Let me ask. Not him trying to talk to her and not to us. Imagine she's still my whole man. <laughs> He is single. Right, let me ask him to be my sugar daddy. Let's decline just for right now because we need to ask him. All right, so don't do nothing stupid. Like, just ask. Ah, uh, uh, need. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Ah, <laughs> 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 we have a sugar daddy. <laughs> Is he leaving? Oh no, you can't leave. Don't leave. Not him trying to leave. Um, sir, hello, <laughs> sir, thank you. Where's my coin? This is called a, ben a financially beneficial arrangement. Where's my coin? Thank you. <gasps> Wait, he just gave us fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, the come up. Alexis ah, needs to get one too. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the video right here. Our girl Simone is getting to that bag, y'all. Yeah, so our girl is really getting to that bag for us. You know, we love a girl that hustles and gets her coin. Period. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And make sure you like this video and leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.